The Iberomorusians were a prehistoric culture that thrived in North Africa, particularly along the Mediterranean coast, from around 22 millennia to 9 millennia before the Common Era. Their name derives from their geographic proximity to both the Iberian Peninsula and Mauritania, though they were indigenous to the Maghreb region. One of the most significant archaeological sites linked to the Iberomorusians is the Tafaraut cave in modern-day Morocco. Excavations at Tafaraut have uncovered both skeletal remains and evidence of complex burial practices, including the use of red ochre in burials, a practice associated with symbolic or ritualistic beliefs. The genomes recovered from Tafaraut are some of the oldest human DNA samples from Africa, dating to around 15 millennia ago. Genetically, the Tafaraut individuals are unique. Geneticists hypothesize that they descend from ancestral North Africans, a hypothetical Homo sapien group indigenous to North Africa. However, they also carried significant genetic admixture from Near Eastern populations, suggesting ancient links between North Africa and Eurasia. The Iberomarusia genetic component has also been detected in modern Berber populations, as well as certain groups in Southern Europe, reflecting the deep historical connections between North Africa and Southern Europe across the Mediterranean. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of six Iberomarusians from the Tafaraut cave, dating to 12 millennia before the Common Era. I ran the six genomes through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis, the link to purchase which will be in the description of the video, as well as the links to purchase the raw data of the six samples analyzed for this video. Five of the six samples were male and all of them carried E1B Y lineage. The most common predicted phenotype was Berberid, although two samples were predicted to have Indian phenotype and one sample was predicted to have a West African phenotype. Here is the average morph of these phenotypes. Five of the six samples were predicted to have dark brown eyes and one sample was predicted to have brown eye color. All six samples were predicted to have black hair color. Three samples were predicted to have light brown skin and three samples were predicted to have dark brown skin. Two samples were predicted to have kinky hair texture and two samples were predicted to have wavy hair texture, one sample was predicted to have straight hair texture, and one sample was predicted to have curly hair texture. Two samples were predicted to have a Greek nose shape, and four samples were predicted to have snub nose shape. Two samples were predicted to be shorter than average, while four samples were predicted to be taller than average in height. Moving on to genetic predispositions. Two samples were predisposed to warrior phenotype, which is a phenotype exemplified by lower dopamine levels and higher activity of COMT, MAOA and MAOB enzymes. One sample was predisposed to warrior phenotype, which is the opposite, and three samples were intermediate between the two. Two samples were predisposed to higher availability of D2 receptor sites, which predisposes them to a higher odds of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, while one sample was predisposed to a lower availability of D2 receptor sites, which is protective from schizophrenia and bipolar and predisposes the individual to ADHD and no-go learning. All samples except two scored average for odds of bipolar type 1, but two samples scored high for odds of bipolar disorder. The samples had some predisposition to Alzheimer's, as one sample scored low odds, two samples scored average odds, and three samples scored high or very high odds for Alzheimer's. The samples also had a predisposition to glioma or brain cancer, with three samples scoring very high odds for this condition and only one sample scoring low odds. The samples had low overall predisposition to allergies, with four samples scoring low odds of allergies. The samples had roughly average odds of type 1 and type 2 diabetes, with two samples scoring high odds for type 1 diabetes and one sample scoring high odds for type 2 diabetes. 
The samples had high odds for epilepsy, which is a condition common for Africans. Four samples scored high odds for epilepsy, and two samples scored average odds. No samples scored lower odds for this condition. The samples had low predisposition to age-related macular degeneration, with all six samples scoring low risk for this condition. Two of the six samples had high predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, and four had low risk for this condition. Although beta thalassemia is a condition common in North Africans today, none of the six samples carried any risk variance for it. Regarding uncommon or rare genetic conditions, the North Africans carried risk variance for hypophysthesia, Parkinson's, myosclerosis, Hirschsprung disease, irritable bowel syndrome, familiar hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and familiar toartic aortic aneurysm. Two of the six samples were predisposed to lower levels of 5-HT, which leads to higher odds of depression and anxiety, and the rest were predisposed to intermediate levels of 5-HT. Every sample was predisposed to a higher odds of autism, and none of the samples were predicted to be lactase persistent. Two samples were predicted to have a higher level of empathy, and one sample was predisposed to a lower level of empathy, based on OXTR genotypes, with the remaining three being predisposed to an intermediate level of empathy. One sample was predisposed to lower odds of cardiovascular issues, while the remaining five were predisposed to an intermediate odds of cardiovascular issues. Four of the six samples carried the unathletic genotype in ACTN3 that is linked to worse athletic performance, and perhaps better performance in endurance sports. Only one out of six samples carried the sprinter genotype that is linked to better athletic performance. Five of the six samples were predicted to have lower odds of alcohol dependence, whereas one sample was predicted to have a higher odds of alcohol dependence. Five out of six samples had higher odds of epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotype, and one sample was predicted to have lower odds of epithelial cancers. Two of the six samples had lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, whereas four had higher odds of autoimmune disease. Speaking of autoimmune diseases, four of six samples also had higher odds of ankylosing spondylitis. One of the six samples was predicted to have a higher odds of obesity, while the remaining five had a predisposition to an average odds of obesity. Five of the six samples had high level of vitamin D, while one sample had low levels of vitamin D. Two of the six samples had high levels of LDL cholesterol, while four samples had low levels of bad LDL cholesterol. Four of the six samples had short telomeres, while two samples had longer than average telomeres, which is a good predisposition leading to longer lifespan. All six samples were predicted to carry blood group O, which is the most common blood type worldwide. Thanks for watching the video until the end. Consider leaving a like and sharing if you enjoyed it.